be a private video until after uh, we get things going after Christmas Eve. Um, you're going to be receiving this in a package with several other items to so give you guys a heads up. Um, you know, in old world Japan, the generals would come to the line and basically explain what they're doing and why they're fighting. So I'm going to explain what I'm doing and why I'm fighting. First off and foremost, uh, we got a little Mary Magdalene. Looks very similar to the ones that your friends at the America Needs Fatima folks have. Um, I don't know whether or not you've seen the video I've put out about what we've done to, the, to it, but I will go ahead and splice that into this video as well. But to be, make it easy, give you the uh, dummies version of what we're doing. Um, this wonderful statue was placed in a pentagonal gate, mirror gate. Upon that, the first thing that was blown into it was burning sulfur. Sulfur powder was blown into a black candle, which then struck the statue with that wonderful smell that you guys love so much. Then upon that, menstrual blood along with semen mixed with menstrual blood, along mixed with costume blood, all mixed in together all nice and nasty, got thrown all over it. If you guys don't know the Zoroastrian reason for using menstrual blood, I suggest looking it up. Then upon that was ashes. These are ashes specifically from our rituals, mostly from our Yasna ritual that we do weekly, where we not only uh, blaspheme but destroy the cross, the same thing with pages from the Quran. You are basically attacking everybody who has anything to do with trying to create a destructive force. We're well aware that your Maria is really Minerva. We're also well aware that Allah is really Durga. So we know that these are war goddesses and we don't really care. Uh, we will be replacing it with our own goddess known as Chinamasta. Have good fun trying to find out what Chinamasta is about. It shouldn't be too difficult for you. Now, the purpose of doing this to the statue was obviously to corrupt it. Because according to you guys, your little Mother Mary virgin purity can never be corrupted. Well, guess what? Now it's corrupted. I also have a nice corrupted quartz crystal. That was done the same way the statue was done, and it stays on its head. And as you can see, there's a rosary that's been in and out of vaginas and anuses and so forth that has kept around it. And then on the four corners are certain uh, gems, if you will, to maintain a chakra energy kept around that. The statue itself not only has been imbued with corruption, it's also been spiritually imbued with the essence of Chinamasta. For the next nine months, until we get to the Ides of August, things are going to pop up with this statue. Be it in the internet, be it on the streets, be it wherever we want to be it. But it's going to keep popping up. So we're issuing the challenge to America Needs Fatima and her little side partner that likes to do their little petitions with Mr. Ritchie, Mr. John Ritchie, to get it taken down. Take down our blasphemous in the public square videos, blogs, and so forth. Take them down. Write your petitions. I challenge you to do so. Because quite frankly, your stunt with my book signing has now lit a fire under my ass. And your stunt with my mother, not only with the black mass, and the one recently, has lit a fire under my ass. So... When a smaller team has to take on a larger team, it becomes guerrilla warfare. Get ready.